Welcome to the home of ultimate science and tech entertainment. This is the time of money. It is someone I got money ready for what we have planned for you. I'm glad you've been This watch here is the one and only TRMC Roger on Mzanti's number one channel in Kuruma. I'm going to SABC one. Mzanti for sure. This time by now, you should know how to pass the part of the to be SABC education. You can make a OCI in the Lona and Gambis and Gobongi. This time you must show the bed to Nani C. Then you can change the Indians are umzala cool. You know, choose the ass by Doni. They are ambos. I am man. It's too much. I ain't gag about fair to none of the cams on your boots. Got the little hammer, Kuma Lubo. Blue thing got the guy. It's not Masia, Pemalega, the Malaga, or Masis, our vegan Janipa. I'm trying to get me talking about planning. That sounds really interesting. Let's check out what we have for you on today's show. Abash. Coming up on TOMZ, Funagaman talk about the importance of planning. See how young people have made your taxi ride a smoother process. Check out some awesome apps for your mobile device and get some inspirational words of advice from Indonesia. Let's get it. Yo, I'm excited to get to the next one. Yes, we are now. I'm excited. But you know, we cannot give you everything on a silver platter. We want to know exactly what you know about the planning. What's the importance of planning? you plan you actually know what you're gonna do in the future yeah. and then planning is important because then you actually like <laughs> I don't know you get what you want yeah. out of it mm. yeah and then you don't make mistakes oh, yeah. like if you have a goal mm. you first have to plan to get there mm. in order to achieve what you want well planning basically helps you to prepare for certain things uh -huh. sort of have like a direction in where you want to go to and to know what you want to achieve in life and stuff. Can you tell me of any ways we can use technology to make taking taxis a smooth process? Well, maybe we can have an app. I feel like they should just all make it one system. Nowadays, we have so many systems. You've got the Ria Via, you've yeah. got the Metro. I feel that to make it easier for everybody, just make it one system that everybody can use at any time. Uh -huh. Shout out to Tom, the CPC one, Zanzi for sure. Abash. I give an to say but I can have saying it's if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. Yeah, and then guys, so now planning is very crucial to help us do what we want to do, the way we want to do it, and when we need to do it. How do you trust an unplanned building? Or would the layout of a city make sense if it was just randomly thought of? and towns have to be planned long way before Check out how urban planners go about doing this. Check it out. Urban planning is to help create urban environments that are convenient, healthy, and efficient. Now, there are mainly three aspects to focus on. These are the physical, social, and economic environments. Now, the physical environment is pretty much self-explanatory. It mainly looks at the location, climate, and proximity to the resources of an area. The social environment would relate to the way in which the people live, making sure that they have access to the area's resources and abide to the rules. Lastly is the economic environment. Now, Gay Focus APA is making sure that the area is business friendly enough to have its own functioning economy. As I want to look at it, I want to know how to move around in public transport to move around in urban areas. I want to know how can technology help plan a journey to school or make it slightly easier. Yes, when I say move around, I want to move around in urban areas. I want to know how can technology help plan a journey to school or make it slightly easier. Yes, when I say move around, I want to move around in urban areas. I want to know how Hey, my friends, I'm going to get yes. And that brings us to today's topic. So, I'm going to get into the planning. So, I'm going to get into the planning. I'm going to get into the That counts money, but I'm going to get into the in this mission. Let's get it. Well, guys, welcome to TOMZ. How are you doing? Good, man. Hi. Thanks for having me. Most definitely. So, first of all, let's chat about the app player we designed. What is it all about? Uh, so, Pambili is an app. This is about to change Pambili to Babadi Change. So, it helps with them to deal with the pressures of sitting in front, especially for people here in children. And what I've noticed is that people struggle giving back the change, you know. So what this does is that it helps you calculate the change and see how the change is split so that you give the correct change back to Abantu. And you know, you make the driver happy. 
So I feel like born a problem with country mali. So I go my friends to interest So I want to know what actually motivated you to choose another airplane. Mangkala Pambil, I always used to struggle sitting in front, so I used to avoid the front seat. So what had happened one day was that I had an interview, and then I didn't want to sit in front like I always don't want to. And then Mfigo Mamuntala, who sat in front, but she was forced to sit in front. We hung a phone now. Like the rest of us, she didn't want to sit in front. So she struggled with the change, there was money short, and about drive, about full money, about one and a half, which shot the two rand or whatever, you know, they'll stop the taxi. So what had happened was, they stopped the taxi on the side of the road, money went back to people, there was a big confusion to make sure to see who, where the money belongs. And then that resulted in me being late. So when you're late, you're always looking for other people to blame, you know, when things go bad. So, you know, I blame this lady, but she was such a sweet old lady, I actually felt bad for blaming her. So that's when I thought of the idea. I'm like, you know, I, I'm studying IT, you know, let me use my skills to solve a problem that I struggle with and that everyone else who uses taxi struggles with. So that was the main motivation that led to the birth of Pandi. Yeah. Tell us about the, the steps. The coding was a mixture of stuff I learned at school and stuff I taught myself on the own. So the stuff you see on the website, such as the pictures and stuff, are things I had to teach myself to do using Photoshop and those photo editing stuff. Yeah. That's what I had to learn on my own and some of the coding, but the majority is stuff I had learned from school. The plan was to avoid it being just a calculator. Yeah, yeah. So we had to go through steps to make sure that this is something that's useful. Yeah, yeah. So in terms of planning, I had to sit down and draw it up. Okay. You know, so the first stages, I was like, no, this is too similar to a calculator. Yeah, you know, yeah. What's the difference between this and a exactly. calculator? Yeah, yeah. You know, so that led to iterations, you know, seeing, oh, let me make this easier, let me make that easier for the people. And you know, when I was designing it to my mom, I said, my mom. You know, she was part of the planning process. When I was moving through the iterations, I'd always consult her, Nimbu Uzguti, eh, mama, bani change. You know, so based on how she struggled, I could get a sense of how it would work in the real environment. So from what I got from her, Angaz, Ngabanyobu, mama, but based from what I got from her, mama, yes, it's very user-friendly for everyone. Okay, so tell me, how did you get it out into the public way? Getting it out to the public was actually easy. You know, in 2015, yeah. getting stuff out is very nice because of social media. Mm -hmm. So what had happened was that the version that I had released was actually a prototype. Okay. Okay. So I just told my friends and family, Ruti, hey, I created this app, you know, check it out. Let me know what you think. But they shared it to their friends, their friends shared it, they shared it, they shared it to resulting in over thousands of people visiting the website. Okay, and tell us what future plans do you have for the app? Uh, so the future plans, the current plans right now, as in what we're working on right now is helping people know how much taxes cost. So let's say you want to travel between Joburg and Pretoria. Yeah. You know, you just go onto the website, you type in Joburg, Pretoria destination, and then it will show you how much the taxes cost and which taxes to take. Plus it will also show you alternative routes. But the thing about this is that it's it, the information is gotten from the public, people yeah. such as yourself. Yeah. 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 You know, so you log on, you say, with the I, I know about the taxi I use regularly is a taxi between Joburg and Midrand. Yeah. And then let's say someone else adds a taxi between Midrand and Pretoria. So what the system does then is that it joins those two together and then it will show you with the eye, all in all, 50 rand. You know, the taxi between here and Midrand, 25, Midrand, Pretoria, 25. So like, you know, people can plan their routes. You know, you can taxi, you can taxi, you can you can taxi, all of those things. So that's the next thing we're trying to solve, you know, we're solving taxi problems one at a time. Right, so yeah. Yeah. Okay, so point in general, yeah, it's even see data, the yeah, airplane. Yeah, it uses data on the website, really. so websites don't live on the phone, you need to connect online. So the reason why we did that is, you know, we want, we don't want to discriminate. 
they must be able to access the website. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter what device you're using, Android or iOS. Okay. You know, there's no discrimination. Anyone can visit the website. So for Abantaba Telekai right now, who really need this app, Bangai uh, Tola? So there's two ways to get it. So you can go to Pambili app. .co.za, okay. or you could just Google Pandili app and it will be the first result you see. Right, right. Yes, is no Crazy stuff, right? How a simple idea can actually change people of the band. Now, we have got even more cool tech after the schedule. Yes, we're going to be after this. Do you know how to document a science experiment? Well, like TMZ, we've got you. Let's get back to this. Do you know how to document a science experiment? Well, like TMZ, we've got you back. All this and more after the break. Um. With your amazing host, your voice, Sia, and your girl, Ubongi. And who do we have to thank for this show? Well, they okay, SAPC Education. Plan your daily commute and simply make things smoother. But there's another thing that needs a lot of planning is science, especially when it comes to experiments. Not to go every boarding, I'll go access to the needed resources. No, but that's the case with my home problem. But just in there, our next guest has come up with a solution to that. When I laugh, figure out. Your first boy still on a mission refers to say Kubang and Topic and I'm Klanji e planning well touchdown and Madrian to Vagashella Bob Kopesh about Shellaga Bans in a plan lab to bring a science lab closer to you. How awesome is that? It's you and me in this mission. Let's get it. My name is Christy and I work for Smart Labs. Mm -hmm. And basically what we like to do mm -hmm. is look for solutions when it comes to education yes. and science. Okay. okay. So the biggest problem at the moment is that there's not enough infrastructure mm -hmm. in science mm -hmm. to actually support experiments. Mm -hmm. And you need to do that. If you want to build a career in science, you need to know how an experiment works. Mm -hmm. So what we went and did is we took the idea of what you need as a teacher to perform experiments okay. and we put it on a platform and we put storage in it, mm -hmm. put wheels on it mm -hmm. and voila. So, so it's basically like a lab? It's like a lab that a teacher can use to do experiments. Yes. Students can also use it. We've had a lot of schools that take it and then the students use it themselves. Mm. So tell me, how did that idea come about? I mean, having a mobile lab? Well, there's been lots of examples of these in like the UK, in Europe. In those areas, they also had a problem with the infrastructure and stuff. Mm -hmm. And this kind of, a similar type of solution was built. Mm. And looking at that, we decided that we were going to take something similar, mm -hmm. take the idea and put it into a cart okay. as well. Okay, so tell me, what kind of challenges did you face when you were building the whole cart? Okay, the problem with Everything was looking at materials that are um, decently priced. Also making sure that we're dealing with children and children do sometimes push things to the limit. So we had to design it to last mm -hmm. and then we also had to look at who was going to buy this. Okay. And the problem is that in South Africa we have a very broad different type of people that we want to cater for. Mm -hmm. You have public schools that have very little infrastructure mm -hmm. and then you have private schools that are to the extreme with the auditoriums and so we wanted something that was going to fit into both markets so that we didn't have to make two types of cart. Mm. And that's where we found this cart. Okay. So, um, yeah, that was the biggest challenge. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell me, what does the cart consist of? Because I can see there's like a microscope, there's like a human diagram. This one specifically is our ICT cart. Okay. ICTs are practically any technology that you use in a classroom yes. to convey a message. Okay. So with this, we've used it as a display platform for the ICTs. Yes. So you've got your laptop, yeah. your projector that's yes. going to project what you're using on your laptop mm -hmm. to your students. Okay. This is nice 
because if you have students like big classes, they don't all have to come and shuffle so to come and see yeah. what's going on. Mm -hmm. They can see it right there. And yes. also you can use technology without students having to supply every student with a laptop or a tablet. Mm. So it's nice because then they can all see and they're also interacting with you. And then you've got your microscope. Mm -hmm. Now this is a very important part of science. Because mm -hmm. if you're going to be in geology, if you're going to be a biologist, any field, microscope work is the most important. So this is a great option because they get to see the microscope, mm -hmm. they get to learn all of the different parts of it, mm -hmm. but then they also get to learn the proper way the teacher is handling the situation, she's controlling. On the microscope I've mm -hmm. got um, the cerebe uh, cerebellum cell, as you yeah. can see it's got a pointer on it, that microscope. Mm -hmm. So it's showing you the cells so I could explain to the students grey matter and white matter mm -hmm. and that this is a dendron with the um, cell and you can see all of the different parts. Other stuff that we include is a lot of modeling things. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. here we've got one that everybody knows, H2O. Yeah. Okay, now when you look at the models, it's very hard to actually, if you look at the words that you're busy learning in chemistry, it's very hard to know what you're actually learning mm -hmm. because you can't see it in space, but atoms in chemistry takes up space. So that's what's so awesome about these things because suddenly you go from learning things in paper to building it and it makes chemistry fun. Mm. And that's what the cart is all about. Mm. It's turning everything that was theory into practical because science is everywhere. It's in everything that we do. And you can't learn it in a book. Mm. It's about actually seeing it. And how was the response from the teachers and the kids? Well, they're excited to do their classes now. Mm -hmm. and. The students, you can see like when we've gone back to do um, follow-ups or if we are coming in to bring some more products in, mm -hmm. a lot of the time they're excited to see that equipment come in. Mm. Not just because it's something new and exciting, but because they know what this means. It mm. means that they're going to have fun in science. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The other day um, I followed up with one of the training, the teachers that I trained mm -hmm. and he said to me that before he impl um, implemented the CART, the mm -hmm. science CART, mm -hmm. he had a 75% average physical science um, pass rate, which oh, isn't no. bad. When he implied this, uh, implemented the science CART, mm -hmm. he had a 100% physical science pass rate. When conducting an experiment, there are certain steps one has to follow to make sure everything is well documented. The very first step would be to research. Now this research should form the foundation of your experiment. Next would be to come up with a problem. Now after that you will need a hypothesis. Now this is basically what you think will be the result of the experiment. Then the last two steps after conducting the experiment is to document the results and graphs do this affecting. After that all you need to do is write a conclusion that assesses how the results answer the hypothesis. Or talk about innovative ideas that serve the people. Well, Mother that's exactly the type of innovative ideas. This is Dingayo Abimzan. Mm, now, if you happen to be sitting on such an innovation, then why don't you know about it? So hit us up on either Facebook, Twitter, or even on Instagram. So come on, Jigo. We take a quick commercial break. We'll see you right after this. We go back in time as Funigabanta about the history of planning, get some useful planning apps, and get some cool advice from today's experts. Tom's. 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 Tom's.
Back in 1948, Funderbale Park was planned by Dr. Funderbale to be conductive to a healthy, happy, and productive life. Now, the Down Lenage was developed to house and serve workers of the South African Iron and Steel Corporation, known as the ISCOR. Now, in the early 1950s, Sasselberg was planned to serve the world's first oil from Coil Complex in Sasson. Now, the establishment of this town has stimulated the establishment of a vast chemical industry, the biggest in the country. Now we're trying to some really cool things that exist thanks to the technology. And there's a promise of even more cool things to come, especially from this generation of Tom's viewers. But give me you understand that we have to meet them halfway by giving them resources about Zanita to take over Elizabeth. Because why do they want to dump? And we've done just that. So Nila Pemaka keep on my smartphones when you want to be ready to download these awesome apps that we found just for you, but they at home. Let's say you need help in keeping your life in order. Well, lucky for you, there's an app for that. The Schedule Planner Classic app, a practical and simple task planning app that helps you to keep track of how your days go. Or maybe you are a bit curious on how exactly all these scientific theories come about. In that case, I suggest you get yourself the Science Experiment app, an interactive collection of historical science experiments. And I go from Google and Google, where you're about to put together the master plan on how you can have a career in planning. And we plan on helping you with that. So what can does a master planner go in? Well, if you're not in then To get into such a career, you obviously have to be very good in planning and managing resources and spaces. Now, for this career, you have to study a BSc in Urban and Regional Planning. Now, this is a three-year course. You'll need an API score of 26, and you must have done maths and science in high school. I get my first job at Shabakunmile, so take the advice, go out there, or achieve the Amapopo Ako, just like today's guests have done. But if you want to go out there, you'll have to go out there, so to give you more inspiration to go out there and do what you need to do. Because of the online options, there's literally nothing stopping you from becoming a programmer. All you need is a computer, it doesn't matter how old or new the computer is. As long as you have a computer with an internet connection, you're good to go. There's online courses that can teach you how to use Photoshop like I did. There's courses that can teach you how to program, how to create apps for the various cell phones, your iOS, your Android. The options are unlimited online. All that's needed is a determination to want to be able to create those things and focus. So for everybody wanting to go into science, the best type of advice that I can offer you, as somebody that studied that stuff too, is to look at what field you really want to go into and decide from there what subject you want to do. For example, there is science in every situation. If you want to go into food science, it would be good to take home economics. But if I want to go to something like geology, it would be better for me to take geography. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yes, but first, let's my social sessions with the last Kuma Nara Pika on Facebook and on Twitter. Now, I'm trying to on Facebook, what type of sending these awesome t shirt design? And you know, you find the brains are the most powerful tools. Wow, when I'm going to come on, I tell my little two dog, Tato, big ups, man. But now, I go, Kuma Sano, let's be a bar and I'm trying to social. Call my name, I'm going to go Facebook, you know, like that t shirt, and then the t shirt that gets most likes wins. Mm-hmm, Kuma Guti Tom's and I told her, I find a Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash TOMZ on Twitter at TOMZ underscore SABC underscore one. Now go Instagram, says the corner at TomCV underscore SABC one. Till next time, that's it for our social sessions. I get my face to there, it happens again. Just figure my picture a little bit to all share a little bit. I'm yeah, TOMZ. But if you can get time, I'm going to go. I pay up and get a phone because it's going to go all up. I'm going to go. Let us know what you thought of the show and what you've learned from our guests or even what you'd like us to talk about. Oh, you could just say hi. Oh, I'm going to go Facebook, go Twitter, and go Instagram. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Next time on TOMZ, Funaga bands about social innovation. Learn all about the concept of work. For sure.